Welcome back everyone to CBS3 Eyewitness News at Noon on this Monday afternoon. What you just saw was a live update from CBS News correspondent Scott McFarland talking about the latest on what's going to happen this week. And Elon Musk buying Twitter for $44 billion despite the fact that he was going to sell it for $44 billion and whatnot. So, one word to describe Elon Musk, I think he's very delusional on buying the social media giant and whatnot. Turning to our forecast right now on this Monday afternoon, it's now 1220 with 82 degrees at my stay-at-home crib. Let's go to Larissa, my sister, for her first check on the weather. Then she'll give you the seven-day forecast immediately after that. Go ahead, Larissa. And we'll continue to add several degrees to that as we get deeper and deeper into the month of June. Out there, it is gorgeous. Lots of clear skies. Visibility is looking good. Winds are nice and light out of the south, coming in at 8 miles an hour. I think the winning number here is that... 48 degree dew point temperature and anytime you see the dew point temperature in the 40s humidity is low so it feels really nice and comfortable out there that will be the case again this evening if you have any dinner plans outside dining al fresco it'll be a gorgeous evening to do so as temperatures by 7 30 will be in the middle 70s clear comfy and pleasant winds tonight though do take a shift They'll be out of the south, ranging between 5 and at times 10 miles an hour. With that shift in the winds comes the increased humidity. We're going to notice that on Tuesday, we will also notice the clouds moving into the region. Now, Tuesday morning is dry, but by Tuesday afternoon, we'll be tracking this cold front. It'll move through the area, bringing rain, maybe even a few rumbles of thunder. Watch what happens as I move the clock forward. A lot of that rain turns scattered light, so we're not tracking anything widespread. But notice how it does continue through Tuesday night. This is now Wednesday, 2.30 in the morning, and we'll still be dealing with a few showers. That'll linger into Wednesday morning, still but staying unsettled as we approach Wednesday afternoon with another round of rain moving through by Wednesday night and into early parts of Thursday morning. Let's go ahead and talk about the tropics, right? We were watching this system, Tropical Storm Alex, that barreled through South Florida, raced across the Atlantic. Here's Bermuda, it is staying north and east of Bermuda, but it is also producing rain as well as winds across the island. Most of the moisture associated with it is actually further north and east, and it will begin to die out and lose those tropical characteristics as we head towards tonight and into our Tuesday morning. Back here at home, here's what we're tracking. Those clouds increase tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, we're fine. By the afternoon, we'll see still a few spotty showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder. The same goes Wednesday, but showers and storms become more numerous, especially Wednesday night. That will linger into Thursday morning, and then we're drier by Thursday afternoon and to round up the week on Friday. Thank you, Larissa. A live look at Sea Isle City. It looks very nice down there, if I do say so myself. Look at all those beachgoers going to the beach. Some of them are getting a bite to eat for lunch. Our final headline is coming up next. Better stay put, everybody. Stay with me. Don't go away.